Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use any of these hamburger icons with your Elementor of Canva uh, element. So let's get started directly. So here I have what would be your header template. I just have a image, uh, nav menu, and then here I have a HTML element, and I also have a of canvas ready on the page with whatever content would be in there. So the first step is to go here to choose one that you like. Then you right click, inspect. Then you find the, the one that's the anchor element and you copy the parent of the anchor of the hamburger. So you see here, uh, there is the Chrome tells you that we have the, the proper element selected. So we copy this, copy element. And then we paste this in the HTML element where you want the, the icon to be. And it includes everything already, all the JavaScript, all, all the styles. I added uh, comments in the CSS so that you can adjust the, the styling of, of the nav icon as you wish. So after you, you've got this ready, uh, the, you will want to delete the uh, the div that, that's not um, uh, required. So the very first div, so that it starts with the anchor element. And then at the very end, you also want to delete this closing div A. All right. So now you have your new hamburger in place. So how does it toggle this off canvas? So to do this, we just need to get the toggle URL. So you add a button. Anywhere, it doesn't matter, we will delete it. And then a, on the link, let me narrow this down a little bit. So you go to uh, off canvas and then you select toggle and then you select off canvas. And then uh, you update, actually you don't need to update. You can just close this, right click, copy link address. Then you open again. And now we can even delete the button, go in the HTML and then A in the href, we just paste. And we delete what, uh, everything that's before the, uh, the pawn symbol, just like this. And there you have it in uh, uh, less than a long time. <laughs> everything working, everything is fine. Actually, there was one more step I forgot. Under advanced for the HTML element, you should give it a Z index of 99999. But even without this step, uh, the, the CSS took care of it, but this is just in case that at some point there is some other CSS going on on your page. So it's better to have it there. And there you have it. So, and this works for any of, uh, these hamburger icons, and you can customize them, the colors, the, uh, the size. So, yep, I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.